uh, of talk. So I'm really, ha really happy to, to support uh, ARWA and, and its mission. Yeah, so uh, uh, this is a part of my, uh, my MA student. So me and uh, my student and Abdelamir Hamdani, actually the ex-minister of uh, culture, so uh, we both, me and Abdel Amir, supervised uh, a, sit a master student. Uh, his name is also Abdel Amir, uh, Abdel Amir Al Jabri. So yeah, we carried out uh, a detailed uh, survey to an area that uh, has not been uh, surveyed uh, by uh, uh, not, uh, by any of uh, you know has not been uh, surveyed. Uh, before. So uh, the location of uh, uh, our study area is here. This is Uruk, and this is the west of, uh, of Uruk. And this is we. This is the area that we uh, surveyed. So this is the west, western part uh, of, of Uruk uh, that has not been uh, surveyed uh, uh, before. Uh, you know, it's our mission in Al Qadisiyah University, let's say. Uh, to uh, survey uh, most of the part uh, that uh, has not been uh, surveyed. So we selected this area. I have another student uh, just finished uh, last year, last month, I mean. Uh, he surveyed an area around, uh, uh, around Tadil Wilaya. So this is our way uh, in Iraq. You know, we all, all of us Iraqis, we have a local experience. Uh, and I would like to, I would like to show you uh, how to how to how Iraqis actually uh, surveying their own uh, survey. Of course, I would welcome uh, any uh, international cooperation in terms of uh, you know providing us with uh, experience, uh, satellite image, uh, guidance. Uh, but you know, so far we have only uh, Iraqis. So I would like you how I would like to show you how Iraqis actually documenting uh, or surveying uh, their, uh, you know, their, uh, uh, let's say their land or their area. So we selected this area because or because uh, Adams uh, didn't uh, went there and uh, uh, did a survey. Uh, uh, it is not similar to Ur, Ur, you know, uh, Ur and it's around area actually received lots of uh, intention. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, Adams actually did lots of work and lots of scholar came after him and uh, did uh, a survey, but not, uh, not this area actually. Uh, so it's intact area. Uh, even the modern urbanism didn't uh, went there. And uh, so it's, uh, it's field, it's a critical site, it's irrigation system. Uh, is uh, intact because uh, you know it's a it's it's not a desert like the western desert but uh, it is a desert area and i didn't find any uh, uh, sasanian or islamic uh, uh, you know canalization or farming so it's an uh, intact area and maybe we are lucky to have it actually <coughs> sorry so we use the, the traditional or the classic uh, things to um, do a survey. So we have unsurveyed, unsurveyed area and what we can do actually. Uh, so we started uh, uh, by uh, remote sensing with our high resolution satellite image. Uh, the available, the, the, the free one actually, the digital globe one. Um, and we used uh, Corona, we used uh, also the SRTM and uh, some uh, historical maps, some another you know detailed or topographical map, geological maps, uh, of course. Uh, and then of course we used the field survey and we did uh, some uh, digging. So all of these uh, uh, techniques or uh, methods of research we use it actually uh, using uh, GIS. <coughs> So our mission is to, to, to identify our critical site and uh, irrigation system, but mostly actually uh, we focused on uh, documenting or uh, identifying uh, our critical sites. 
so before that, we went to the SBAH, the, the, the office that responsible for documenting uh, 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 sites, and we asked them how many sites you have in this area. They said we have um, uh, less than seven sites. So only seven sites has been documented in this area. So our mission is to identify the site. Uh, uh, so it's a huge area. We cannot uh, uh, survey it meter by meters. So that's why we uh, we used a satellite image and we uh, set up. We set uh, in the office, uh, me and my student, and started to uh, picking up each uh, uh, possible site or uh, you know. Um, yeah, possible site, uh, and then we should go to the field actually to do ground truthing. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, for example, we used uh, the relative height. For example, most of the sites actually uh, are higher than the surrounding area, so the elevation is really a key. Uh, as you can see here, uh, uh, if we used uh, SRTM, then we can easily actually uh, pick it up. The, the elevation point uh, or so, for example, that one actually is possible aside on that one. And of course that one on that. So using SRPM is a, a really important uh, uh, thing. <coughs> uh, the other thing is that, uh, you know, we use a tone uh, because uh, uh, site has a, a, a tone different to the surrounding uh, area. Uh, as you can see here, we, we can you uh, yeah the tone is uh, both in 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 archaeological site in the field I mean on the ground and of course in uh, satellite image. For, for example, you can see the tone is so clear here. Uh, you know it's like a light and then we have a dark. So this is the archaeological uh, site, and in uh, satellite image is also uh, we have uh, a, a tone which you know is we have a dark or, uh, you know, and then we have light. So this is from first uh, uh, guess or first uh, sight. We can see this is a, a first look. I mean, we can we can say it is a sight. And the texture, actually, we use texture to identify uh, ancient river and irrigation uh, system. Uh, and actually, it, it worked uh, uh, well. Um, as you can see here, we have the uh different texture in this uh, satellite image so the ancient river we have you know how many courses we can count them and then we have you know a, a, a site surrounding by a different type of irrigation system so texture is also a key we used it to identify uh, both sites and uh, uh, channel uh, the pattern also we used uh, we, we used it to identify uh, channel and uh, archaeological uh, site as you can see in this uh, uh, satellite image so we have uh, like a ridge and then when we have rain then the water uh, cut the ridge and we have like this type of pattern and then we can say okay we have a site here and we have uh, a canal here yeah. Also, the shape is a key because uh, it's you know we have rectangular or um, a geometrical uh, shape, then we can guess or we can judge this is uh, a site uh, and need to be ground uh, truthing. So shape uh, actually is really uh, important. Uh, also, we have lots of uh, looting pit uh, and uh, uh, as long as we have. A looting bit, then we can say it is a site. It's really worth to mention that uh, this area is a desert, uh, no urbanism. So that's why, and it's really, uh, uh, I will show you later how many sites we have there. So it's uh, really heavily, uh, heavily looted, this area. And it's close to the desert, so it's close to the uh, looting or smuggling network. So we don't have any site that is intact. Most of all of the, most of most all of these sites actually uh, being looted, heavily looted. Uh, yeah, so so looting is a key to identify uh, sites. For example, that one maybe a hundred pit uh, or uh, a hole 
the the, the looter uh, dug uh, uh, in the in this site. So when we, when we see uh, a shape like that and spotted lots of dots, then we can say, okay, it's really uh, important site. site. Uh, and the low the, 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 the low number of uh, bits or hole. Uh, the, the, the more important site I think we have because it means that we have lots of artifacts and some precious or valuable uh, things. And then we have shrine there actually, but uh, the shrine actually to the uh, air, located to the area uh, close to, to the modern uh, Samawa. Uh, so when we have a shrine, then uh, we have a science site underneath. Uh, and we have maybe, yeah, we found more than 10 shrines. Each shrine actually is, was built over uh, a refugical site. So the shrine is a good sign to identify um, sites. And here we go, actually, we, we, we identify in the office by using satellite image and the keys that I mentioned uh, uh, more than uh, around 100 sites, actually. Uh, most of them actually, they uh, they are they they are uh, close or uh, um, you know there's a systematic relationship between the site and the river. So all of the uh, site, most of them, ninety percent of them, associated or close to the main Euphrates uh, uh, river. So for example, we don't have a site here or here, but all of them actually uh, uh, close to the ancient Euphrates. So 100, 100 sites uh, from different type of different uh, period of, of time, uh, we uh, actually we identified them uh, uh, in the office. The other mission, the other job to do is to visit each site. We spent three, three months actually visiting each, each site. So we, we go uh, at the morning and uh, uh, working uh, uh, there in the, in the field uh, and checking the site, uh, taking pottery uh, and, uh, you know, back at the end of the day. Uh, actually, we, you know, for example, we, we, we identified uh, 110 sites in the field uh, and then on the ground, we found only 100 sites. So we, we, our mistake is uh, 10, 10 sites. So let's say uh, uh, the, the accuracy of the accuracy of the uh, office work, between office work and uh, field work is only 10%, which is, I think, uh, really uh, good. So uh, for example, uh, I, I remember one site that uh, I said, okay, it is a site. And then I went there. It was just a flat area, but it's a dark and even looted, but it was not a, a site. So that's why actually uh, ground truthing is really uh, important. So we, we got 100 uh, sites. This is uh, just uh, an example of the surface uh, finding, lots of uh, pottery. Uh, we got and we sampled them. And uh, of course, we we took them to the office and, you know, we followed the process of identifying uh, uh, the, the period of each uh, pottery. Uh, yeah, lots of, uh, you know, uh, even rock, uh, used rock, for example, you know, uh, building material, you know, because uh, this is located to the Western Desert, which is uh, uh, rich in you know, geological formation. So rock is there and uh, people use it for building. If you go to the middle of Iraq, of course, we, we, we cannot uh, find uh, in the, they didn't use brick, uh, they, they didn't use uh, rock for building material, but because this area is close to the desert, then we have uh, uh, rock as a building uh, material, of course, plus to the brick and mud brick. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, a grain mill uh, made from rock, uh, you know, it's, it's a normal thing uh, there. Uh, brick, 
uh, as you can see, lots of uh, type of bricks, you know, different size, different shape. Uh, yeah. And this is, you know, looting hole, lots of looting, as I mentioned uh, uh, before. And uh, uh, I, I remember one day when we, uh, uh, when we went to the field early, actually, before even the sunrise, uh, and we arrived to the uh, site, and we we found uh, a fresh uh, 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 dig of the looter, uh, and we you know we we found their uh, shovel, we found their even the water bottle bottles, lots of water bottles there. So it's an active active area of of looting, even if uh, there is a, a you know the government put lots of uh, a checkpoint there, uh, but you know, looting is a uh, normal things, unfortunately, in, in Iraq or even this in this area. Yeah, so we took the uh, pottery to the uh, office and you know we marked them, uh, we cleaned them, and we uh, identified uh, uh, them. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this is uh, just an example. Yeah, this is maybe a lovely example of uh, of uh, uh, of pottery. Yeah, another example. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 pottery actually that we ad identified uh, uh, show us uh, this range of uh, of period. So uh, we, yeah, we 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 found um, two or three. Uh, Parthian, Sasanian, or really Islamic uh, site, but it is just in the north of the area, uh, and um, yeah, only few few sites, three or four. So if we compare three or four to the hundred, say you no, know, it's nothing. So most of the area from early dynasty, uh, Akkadian or three is in Larsa or Babylonian, Kassite, Middle Babylonian, Middle Babylonian, Achaemenid, uh, and. Uh, Seleucid, and then we have less from Parthian, Sasanian, and early uh, Islam. <laughs> so, for example, this is how the old Babylonian, Middle Babylonian, and Neo Babylonian sites. So, three periods of occupation in this uh, in this site. Uh, in this site, actually, we call it the, that site as AJ uh, twenty nine. <laughs> yeah, this is another example. Uh, two periods. Uh, uh, of occupation in this site, Old Babylonian and Middle Babylonian. <clears throat> that one is uh, Old Babylonian and Middle Babylonian. Uh, yeah, Old and Middle Babylonian. Yeah, you see, so most of them actually from Old, most of them are Babylonians, let's say. Yeah, Middle Babylonian site. So one period of occupation in this site, in this site, yeah. Oh, that one is Parthian. Yeah, Middle Babylonian and Seleucid, that one. Of course, we have like a gap or so, but uh, you know, that one is Sasanian and uh, Islamic uh, site, which is like a fortified uh, uh, castle or so. Yeah. A Middle Babylonian site, you know, it's a small site. We don't have a big or large uh, uh, site there. Most of them, as you can see, the scale are middle or uh, small sites. Middle Babylonian, but you know, it's from its shape, it's like rectangular, so it tell us something actually. Yeah, Middle Babylonian and Parthian. It's the, the above one is Parthian and we have Middle uh, Babylonian. And between them, we have the ancient Euphrates, of course. Old Babylonian, that one, and as you can see, the uh, ancient uh, Euphrates there. So that one, I mean, that one has one uh, period of occupation. Seleucid and Sasanian, yeah. Neo-Babylonian, that one, uh, you know, uh, close to the ancient Euphrates. Most of the site actually close to ancient Euphrates. Middle Babylonian. Yeah, you see it's a small site, rectangular. So something is actually unusual there. And close to the 
as you know, this is the levees of the Euphrates. And this is the uh, Euphrates uh, itself, let's say, the ancient one. And we have a site here. Of course, if we maybe have a detailed, uh, detailed um, uh, survey or more, uh, uh, or high resolution satellite image, maybe we have some site here or here. Yeah, maybe because, you know, we have uh, most of the site actually associated with the ancient, with the, with the river, let's say. Yeah, early dynastic one, early dynastic and Akkadian. This is the largest site that we have in Western Europe. It's so, so large actually. Uh, and, uh, you know, it uh, has lots of, uh, uh, you know, foundation uh, uh, also. That one as well, early dynastic, old Babylonian and middle Babylonian uh, site. Yeah, Parthian and Seleucid, Seleucid one. Yeah, early dynastic, small site. Yeah, middle Babylonian, that one. But it's the, the foundation is not clear. Uh, old Babylonian uh, and middle uh, Babylonian. Uh, old Babylonian, middle Babylonian, you know, we have lots of uh, sites that has two occupation periods, middle and, of course, old and, and uh, middle. Yeah, that one, uh, the same. But the size, actually, it's uh, something uh, strange. Yeah, that one is maybe uh, relatively is a big, big site, old Babylon, middle Babylon, and new Babylon, that one. Yeah, so uh, if we compare between the, the area between, if we compare between uh, the West Oak that we, we surveyed and the East Oak that Adams uh, uh, surveyed. So we we, we made this uh, let's say comparison between uh, these two uh, areas. So uh, we have let's say maybe ten or so uh, early dynastic uh, sites to the west of uh, Aruk, and then we have more actually in the east of of Uruk. So it means that. Uh, this area was less occupied uh, during the early uh, dynasty. So uh, during the Uruk period, also less occupied. We have only four sites, but in the east of Uruk, we have you know maybe a hundred. So uh, as you can see, we have uh, you know high occupation period to the west of Uruk compar in, in comparison with the east of. Uh, yeah, Akkadian is still maybe uh, the east of Uruk, higher than uh, west of Uruk. So, of course, the red line is our uh, survey, and the red dots and the uh, you know, blue dots Adam's survey, as you can see in the legend. Yeah, Old Babylonian. Maybe similar, now we have uh, uh, similarity or the same uh, numbers between east and west of Uruk. Kasaid, the same, the same number of uh, sites in both sides of Uruk. Neo Babylonian, maybe the same. Achaemenid, of course. As you can see, maybe the same. Yeah, so uh, we have, you know, uh, from a specific period of time, we have uh, the same uh, uh, sites in both in both sides of of Uruk. But before that, the west, the the eastern side was more uh, occupied. Uh, Parthian and Sasanian. Now we have uh, less sites in the west and high site, high number of sites in, in, in the east during the Parthian and Sasanian uh, uh, sites. Early Islamic, we have only three, and of course we have less uh, sites, so uh, maybe similar, I mean. Yeah, three combined to 10, so still the, the uh, western uh, Uruk is less 
down the eastern uh, or Uruk. Yeah, in conclusion, actually, we have uh, the western part of Uruk is similar to the eastern part in terms of settlement pattern and period of occupation. This means that there was uh, no natural or political boundaries between them. So the east and the west uh, actually are the same. Of course, there is a, a difference in, in number, but at least uh, we have the same uh, occupation period in both uh, sides. In the western part, there was uh, one river feeding the settlement, continued running in the same uh, place for more than uh, 4,000 years, actually, while there are several courses of river in the eastern part. So east, the eastern part actually is active, was active, I mean, lots of irrigation system, irrigation canals, different period of occupation, always higher than the western uh, part. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. And uh, I'm happy for any questions. So this is our way of me and my student when we need to uh, document any side. We don't use drone uh, and, uh, you know, this is our, this is what we have actually. And I hope you are happy with it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jafar. Uh, we have one question in the chat out, so I'll go ahead and ask that. It says, you mentioned many Middle Babylonian sites. On your chronological chart, there was a distinction between Kassite and Middle Babylonian, with the MB ranging from 1200 to 700 BC. What you call Middle Babylonian equals Kassite. So what, just to distinguish, I guess, which what do you mean by Middle Babylonian? Is that the same as the Kassite, or is that a different period? Yeah, we, uh, we use, we follow with the, yeah, there is, there is a, an issue in this, actually, in the name. So, uh, uh, we, we use the, the, the catalog or the index of the, the German index of, uh, of identifying uh, pottery. So, yeah, uh, if I went uh, to the, that one I mean. So. Yeah, so we have all Babylon Kassite, you see? I see. Yeah. Yeah, so it's more or less sort of spanning towards the end of the Kassite, really, into the Neo-Babylonian or, or the first millennium. Or, um, okay, so just yeah. to make sure. All right, that's good. Um, I had a quick question uh, just about, it seems like there's actually a much more intensive occupation during your Kassite period. Uh, to the west of Oregon. Do you suspect there's a, a kind of major shift perhaps, uh, or is it Old Dublin? I'm not sure, I forget, it's Old Dublin and Kassite when you have major increase in settlements, but do you think there's a, maybe a, a shift uh, in the Euphrates of that period sometime around that Well, time? yeah, I, I tried to find, even my in my PhD, I tried to identify how many cores to the west of uh, Uruk, but uh, it's still one, one course we have. And it is the long lasting uh, course. So the course stayed in its place and just moving uh, and building up. Uh, this is a strange uh, case actually, but in the middle of Iraq, let's say to the east of Uru, uh, we don't have uh, a long standing uh, course. Um, so maybe because the area is open, then can the river can free to move, but it stayed there for 4,000 years. Uh, and uh, maybe because it's receiving less amount of water. It's a branch, not the main Euphrates, because main, the main Euphrates to the west of, uh, to, the, to the east of Uruk, sorry. Yeah, so uh, I, I did some uh, like a, a quick look to the, to the size of the Euphrates. It was so quiet river, then if we have a quiet river running slowly, then we have the possibility to stay in its place. And uh, people actually, of course, can use it for their uh, interest. So I don't think we have, we have a sustainable uh, uh, resource of water. 
uh, but uh, may, maybe uh, it's a deep water or for some reason, there is no irrigation canals there, only a natural one. So it's, it's a different from uh, 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 south, the south of, uh, of Uruk. Let's say Ur, for example, the same river uh, reach, reach uh, Ur. But we, we, there we have lots of uh, branches and irrigation canals and farms uh, in, around Ur. But to the area, our area actually, we have one single river and we don't have irrigation uh, uh, Canals, so some yeah, something to be to deal with this. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, does anyone have else have questions on open up for other people? Raise your hand function. any other questions <laughs> in that case maybe i'll ask one more question um yeah. just about the river itself are you planning to do any geoarchaeological work then on yeah the actually um, yeah I'm, I'm planning to do uh, some digging there and oh i, I'll, I have budget uh, for that uh yeah and uh, you know that the northern part of the area here we don't yeah. have ancient river at all we don't have site at all so of course, the, the ancient river should continue to the north and meet uh, the, ancient, the, the main course in, in Babylon or Sibba, you know, Dilbat, and uh, of course, reach, you know, to the north. So we don't have uh, any ancient uh, river, uh, even in the, in, let's say, yeah, in here, for example. Yeah. yeah. So this area, we have uh, no sign of ancient river, maybe because it's covered for uh, covered by the more the, mo the recent uh, sediment, then we don't have uh, the site or the uh, uh, ancient river. Uh, but uh, here, actually, uh, it is the, the last point that we can see for and identify Euphrates. So from here to to Ur, but in the north, uh, to you know, to Dilbat and you know, of course, Babylon. We don't have it here. So yeah, this is another uh, question, and we should do more digging, uh, surveying uh, here, uh, because of course the, the we don't have a cut river. The river should continue to the north uh, uh, to be uh, feed, feed or to, to to receive water. The other possibility is that we have. The, the, the river actually, maybe that one, this is the ancient one from Adams, maybe from here and then turn to the, uh, let's say, to the east and join um, the, the river uh, network, uh, which is located to the east of, of uh, Uruk. Yeah, this is another uh, possibility. But why we don't have uh, irrigation uh, system? Why, we do, we do, why this area is not canalized? Why the Sasanian didn't reach this area? Because you know the Sasanian has a uh, you know more interest in digging and uh, irrigation or farming all of the uh, era, but they didn't they didn't reach uh, this area. Yeah, if you see, uh, for example, here in, uh, in Ur, we have uh, branching rivers, we have uh, canals, we have different set of uh, of sites. But uh, here, I mean, in, in, yeah, in, in our area, you know, we have one river and we don't have canals. Yeah, there is a, a branch in the south, but not here. Yeah. And if we, if we continue the, the river, tracing the river, then it's easy to be, uh, you know, we can easy to draw in, draw in it or tracing to the air. Yeah, so it's uh, so many questions about this area, and uh, we should do more uh, research to answer it. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it could be sediments, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Rivers, exactly. Know. Okay. Okay. Very good. 
Um, okay, anyone else? Just last chance to ask questions. shy bunch but um okay so this lecture uh will be recorded or has been recorded yeah, so yeah. uh obviously anyone who's missed it um uh, will have a chance to, to view it online um i want to thank you jafar for taking your time much, and I know, uh, okay. I know it's late there so thank you for, for accommodating okay. us we very much appreciate it um but thank you everyone for joining us uh for taking time uh from uh your your august <laughs> to to listen to this for this talk and we look forward to having another talk and hopefully Jaffa back with us at some time. Yeah. Again. yeah. Thank you very much, Mark. Yeah. Really. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.